There's nothing there, man. Legendary filmmaker George A. Romero brings you his ultimate masterpiece. They're communicating. They're thinking. Here they come! George A. Romero's Land of the Dead. Zombies, man. They creep me out. So, you want to know how I got here? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you my story. It all started like this. I just finished feeding the hogs when the power went out. And that happens from time to time out here in the country. I tried calling the electric company, but the lines were dead. And I didn't think too much of it at the time. Later that day, I noticed a stranger in my yard. Something wasn't right with him. The way he was just standing there. I went out to see what he wanted. killed the strangers. It was them or me. The poor devils looked like they fell in a septic tank and festered for a few days. I'd never killed no one before, so I sure was real spooked. I decided to head over to my neighbors across the cornfield. I just didn't feel safe hanging around here all by myself.
I didn't know what the heck was going on, and I was scared to death. Reports of violence are coming in from neighboring states. We're unsure at this moment what to make of the situation. The governor is telling everyone to stay in their homes and has issued a... Uh, one moment, folks. Something has just come across my desk. I'm getting reports that the... I'm having trouble reading this bulletin, but I've been told this has been confirmed by official sources. It appears that the dead are coming back to life and eating the flesh of the living. This is unbelievable news we're hearing. Uh, I, for one, am truly shocked. For those of you tuning in, this is not a joke. Something has gone horribly, horribly wrong.
global phenomenon. Clearly, this is a very dark time, a very confusing time. It is unclear why or how this is happening. This just in, the governor has issued this short statement. Stay in your homes and lock your doors. Do not trust anybody. I did what the man on the TV said and stayed on the farm as long as I could. I got by okay, but those corpses kept coming. The shortwave radio said that the military had some safe houses set up in the city. I was running low on supplies and starting to go crazy all by myself. I had nothing to lose. The city looked like a war zone. Roads everywhere were blocked. I didn't know where to go until I noticed a flicking light in the hospital up ahead. Someone was signaling SOS. I wasn't going to let a few blocked roads stop me from getting to another living person. I'd go on foot.
Doctor was on the intercom. He had locked himself in a security room. I had to find him.
doctor had come for supplies a few days ago. The men he was with were murdered by those living dead. Once the killing started, he locked himself in this room. It kept him safe, but now he couldn't get out. The doctor said that if I went to the basement, I could open the door by flicking an electrical switch down there. First, I needed his pass card to get into the basement. He buzzed me into the offices so I could fetch it.
Grab the doctor and get out of there. Rock the hospital. No time to think. I just had to save myself. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I made it out of the hospital. <laughs> but I still wasn't safe. There was a police station nearby. I figured I could get me some serious firepower there. <laughs>